My name is Scott Curry. Uh, my background's in industrial design. Uh, I'm actually a faculty member here at Jean Augustine. Uh, I'm also faculty at Sheridan College and I'm doing my Master's in Health Sciences at McMaster. Within the school program itself, we have classes, tech design classes. We also have a group, The Collective. They work with each other, they collectively work as a group, so sometimes they will be doing graphic design, they'll be doing modeling, 3D printing, rendering, um, graphics, photography, uh, all sorts of different disciplines. And collectively they work as a group and leverage each other's skill set to their advantage, learn from each other. So there's about maybe 15, 16 students we have right now in, in the team. We're right now we're currently working with one of the head chefs who's representing Canada at the World Championships. Uh, we're also working doing kitchen layouts. We're doing some different modeling and resin prints. We're doing some architectural work. Uh, we're also doing some in-class, in-school projects for different faculty. Uh, we're also doing some fundraising things for the team. Within the lab itself, so this is, this is a design lab. Within this lab, there is 25 machines. They're all i7, good, powerful machines. The students have access to full CC. Um, any of the Adobe Suite, they use SolidWorks, they're using Fusion, they're using KeyShot, we're using Rhino. Uh, we have multiple 3D print capabilities, and also we have the Trotec laser that we utilize quite frequently. Um, for different prototyping, uh, we do a lot of different branding. Uh, so some of the branding projects we would do like in class or we would do in the collective. But one of the projects we have is uh, we had a power outage. Uh, some of the lab was down, just simply go outside, do some sketches. Uh, charcoal sketch, there's a great park across the street from us. We just did some rough sketches, just spending the period having some fun, taking those files, putting them in Illustrator. Uh, playing with different depths um, and engraved textures and then taking that to the Trotec and getting some interesting results. Uh, again, trying to take the park and promote the park as a little kind of branding sample. Um, another thing we did in, in class would be just simply just using the initials, creating their own brand, their own identity. Where can they take that? Where can they go? And again, taking those files from Illustrator, converting them, putting them on the Trotec, seeing some results, trying different materials, uh, just to get a different flavor and different context to, to, uh, to branding. So we have the Trotec, uh, we've got the 360. Uh, it's really nice to have it right inside the class, it's embedded within the class. Uh, something like this I would have seen, like for example, like in Sheridan, it's in the shop, it's in a shop environment. Uh, when it's in the class, the students can see what the machine's doing. It's nice that they can actually see what, directly what they're doing. If they were going to load up uh, one of their files on the printer or the computer we have here, uh, that's great. That talks to the machine. But if they want to go back and fix it and get back to their machine, they're in the same room, same environment. Other students get to see it. It's not just like a siloed environment. It's open. Um, it's also great that we have the exhaust. Obviously, that's why we went with the exhaust, and it could be in a classroom setting. If not, this would obviously be out in a shop, and the students would be, again, leaving their room, going to another room, doing their files, uh, printing their work. This way, it's right here. Um, it's also really nice. We can kind of do some troubleshooting if we're doing like architecture, if we're doing some layouts. Um, we can apply some side profiles, wherever it's a brick pattern, and we can look at it. Oh no, we want to change it. We can do it. We're not kind of running back and forth between classrooms. It may sound small thing, but in education, it's a big deal. Uh, it's also nice that students from other classes, if they're in here working, so in this environment, we have students who will maybe be in photography, they may be doing something in media arts, they might be doing art, they might be in business. They come into the room, they're utilizing the lab, uh, they're free to do that within the school, but the nice thing is that they might see the machine, oh, what's this machine doing? Oh, can I try this? And it, it's, it's, then it's a win-win-win for the whole school. It's not just in this specific room and only the students in this classroom use it. It's for everybody. Um, that's a nice part. So we have a laser machine. Um, from a 3D pr perspective, we have uh, a maker bot that gets the students exposed to different modeling. It's a starter. It gets them going. Um, in the back, you'll see we have a uh, we've got a Fortis 250. It's not up just yet. We're just, you know, it's the beginning of the year, so um, 
It's great for the students. It's a very good quality printer. Uh, anything from a graphics point of view, we've got a full plotter ready for the students. Again, doing poster layouts, any type of graphic work. Uh, we have 25 machines, all good machines. We also have five Cintiqs embedded within the class. So if the students are doing drawings and they want to focus on a more like an animation or a more graphic stream, drawing stream, they can utilize the, the Cintiqs. So there's five of them that the students can utilize. The one chef that we partnered with, he was actually competing in Montreal and he had to basically win regional competition to represent Canada at the World Championships. Uh, we had grade nine students start and they made architectural buildings. We 3D printed them. From the 3D print, we were making silicone molds. From the silicone molds, um, we would then turn that into a chocolate building. So basically re-engineering from the start. Um, the nice thing is that he actually won regionals and now he's representing Canada at the World Championships in Paris. Uh, so the students in the collective are working with them. They're working directly with him. He comes into the building. He works. He has meetings with the collective. They talk about different ideas, different things, um, different ideas and concepts he wants to do. You know, where what he wants to do when he gets to Paris. Because there's so many different elements he's allowed to bring to the competition. Um, that's also led to now we're working with another head chef who's actually part of this pro, uh, school as well, and he's one of the mentors. Uh, uh, Mr. Lee, he's actually one of the mentors in the collective and so what we're doing is he's going to be representing Canada and Germany uh, in the next two years. So he's preparing right now. So what we're doing as a team, we're building molds. On some components, we're, we're, making, uh, we're making a railway out of full chocolate and so we're using the laser machine to do the different profiles and then from that we're actually making silicone molds and chocolate molds. So we're really utilizing the machine. Some of the future goals that we're working on the collective is we're actually bringing in two to three different entrepreneurs, uh, different companies, startups. Uh, we're going to start developing branding for them and strategic plans for them and, and, and help them and work together. Uh, the nice thing is, is the students again are getting professionals coming in, uh, not just students or faculty, it's outside people coming in, working with the team, uh, and they're going to work and develop that. And it's going to be a great portfolio builder for these students. They're going to be exposed to different professional levels um, and the nice thing is, is that it's going to be a portfolio that they all have access to. It's about the collective, it's about the group, so if everyone contributes it's almost all of their portfolios. It's not just individual persons. Oh, I did this and you did that. And well, no, we all did that. So when they when I want to go post-secondary, they want to go outside of this school, when they leave the school, they're going to be well prepared. Um, they're going to have a good, a good platform and a good por solid portfolio pulled together that they can share and really leverage to their advantage. The idea that collectively, what can the students do together without be doing this or doing that, like just collectively, what can we want, what do we want to do, what do we want to achieve, how good or what do you want to focus on your portfolio, if it's engineering, if it's drawing, if it's modeling, if you want to go mechatronics, if you want to go more industrial design, now you have the tools to use that. I mean, if you're going to do graphics or industrial design, you're going to use a trotet. Like, you're going to use a machine that's going to be one of your tools, so you may as well get good at it now. Thank you again for uh, coming in the Design Lab, seeing what we do here. Um, and by all means, if you, have any, if you want any information or anything that we do here in the Collective, you can go to the Collective website, just thecollective.com. Feel free to reach out to us, and maybe we can connect at some point.